Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminolly, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, crime, um, it's my review of Insomnia by Sarah Pimbra. So Sarah Pimbra is an author who's been around for some time, but has got um, a lot more attention quite recently. Um, because her novel Behind Her Eyes was adapted um, for Netflix and, and I think it was quite successful. I think the TV version was quite successful. I really liked Behind Her Eyes. Um, it's a an, in, an interesting book that has a fantastic twist at the end that is completely unexpected but works within the context of the book. Um, and it's, it's one of those twists where if, you know, if, if, if anybody even hints at spoiling it you should run away from them because it I, I think it's a really really good twist um so insomnia is her latest book um it comes out at the end of this month so end of march and i was lucky enough to get an advanced reader copy from netgalley um and unfortunately i didn't really like it at all so um i've read a few books by pimbra over the years so i really liked um behind her eyes and i also really really liked her short novel um, the Language of Dying, which is a very moving um, and interesting book about a, a young woman um, kind of faced with the, um, the, the mortality of her father. Um, and then in terms of her, her books she wrote since the success of um, Behind Her Eyes, um, Cross Her Heart, which was a more conventional um, kind of domestic thriller, I really enjoyed. Um, and Dead to Her, I didn't like quite so much. So that was one that was set in the States um, rather than England. And, and it felt a little bit, um, I don't know, there was something about it that didn't quite work for me. There were some voodoo elements and things like that, which I felt were a little bit dodgy. Um, so, yeah, I was really looking forward to reading Insomnia anyway, because, um, you know, I, I really liked some of her books um, and, it, and it felt like an interesting concept. So it's about um, a woman who is approaching her 40th birthday. Um, and is suffering from insomnia um, and this woman's mother went mad when she turned 40 so went insane and tried to to kill the uh, the, the woman's sister so the the two daughters were you know obviously very young at the time um, and this traumatic event has kind of shaped her entire life um, she's now a successful lawyer um, she's she's married um, with two kids um, but she is um, you know she's starting to to really feel the strain of the knowledge that she's going to be 40 soon and that, you know that was the age when when her mother had her breakdown um and you know as i say she's suffering from insomnia as a result hence the title and and as the book progresses things get increasingly strange so she gets you know she gets really paranoid about things um her son um starts acting who's who's quite young i forget how old he's supposed to be kind of eight or nine that sort of age or maybe a bit younger he starts acting in a strange way at school and drawing these disturbing pictures and things like that so there's all sorts of stuff going on and i and you know as always on this channel i don't do spoilers so i'm not going to give anything away um but things gradually build up and, and the woman you know feels like she is going insane um and as things progress um, it becomes apparent that, you know, as, as you would expect, that there's something a bit bigger going on. Um, and as the book gets to the end, there's this, there's a twist. And I'm not going to tell you what the twist is, but it is in some ways similar to the twist in um, Behind Her Eyes, in that it's something, you know, it's something from left field. And it's something that is, um, you know, it is hinted at through the book. Um, but for me, it just, it just fell completely flat. Um, and I, I wasn't that engaged in the book anyway. I mean, it's very readable. She's got, she's, she's a good writer. She's got a very readable prose style. Um, and the characters are, you know, fairly interesting. Um, but I couldn't help feeling I'd seen it all before. Um, you know, the idea of, of, um, you know, this kind of middle-aged woman drinking too much, feeling like she's losing her mind, um, you know, problems with her husband, problems with her kids, you know, it, it, it all felt a bit too familiar. And whilst it has got this twist at the end, which definitely wasn't familiar, um, it, it felt tacked on. So whereas um, behind her eyes, the twist was completely unexpected and felt really fresh and different and interesting. In, in this book, it feels like she's doing it because it's expected. And, and I feel, I always feel a bit guilty about this because I, I criticised both 
um, dead to her and um, cross her heart because they didn't have the twist of, um, you know, they, they didn't have such an impressive twist um, like Behind Her Eyes had had. Um, and it occurs to me now, reading, reading Insomnia, that that kind of thing is probably incredibly difficult to do well. And if you're not going to do it well, you probably shouldn't try and do it at all. Um, so yeah, it, it did fall flat for me. And, and I, my kind of observation on having read the acknowledgements at the end of the book is, so interestingly, in the acknowledgements, um, Pimbera thanks the production company who are making a TV version of Insomnia. And I checked and it's the same company that made um, Behind Her Eyes, um, which obviously was a big success for them. So I do wonder, is it, this is kind of what's playing out in my head. It may be completely wrong, but my, my hypothesis is that Pimbera wrote um, Behind Her Eyes. You know, it was fantastically successful. Lots of, you know, some readers didn't like it, but lots of readers really liked it. It was adapted for Netflix and, and that was also successful. Um, and, you know, I checked on the IMDb and it's got a pretty solid, you know, kind of in the sevens um, rating on IMDb. So, you know, clearly a lot of people liked it. Um, she then writes a couple more books, um, you know, in the, in the time that they're, you know, while the TV series have been produced. So she writes a couple more books where she can't come up with a twist as good as, um, as good as the one in Behind Her Eyes. So she doesn't, she doesn't bother, um, you know, and the books are strong in other ways and, you know, don't necessarily need the twist. But then after the success of the TV series, the, the, um, the TV company approach her and say, we need another Behind Her Eyes. We need another book with a twist like that, that we can adapt. Um, and, and that's where Insomnia comes from. So it feels like it's a book that is being driven by commercial pressures rather than you know artistic endeavor shall we say um and i think that's why it doesn't have the freshness and that the kind of that i remember i still remember reading behind her eyes and when i got to that twist that kind of light bulb moment of oh wow this is really cool um and, and that's completely lacking in insomnia it's kind of interesting the twist she comes up with but it's nothing like the it's nothing like the one in behind her eyes um so i feel like i've been really negative and i try not to be negative on the channel but i i didn't enjoy insomnia at all hopefully other people will and certainly looking at the reviews from other people who've read an advanced copy on uh, on goodreads you know lots of people seem to be really liking it so you know that's fantastic um but yeah it, it just wasn't for me it just didn't work for me um yeah sometimes sometimes that happens and like i say in my review videos particularly i do try and be positive um and you know it's certainly a, a very readable book um, but yeah, it's it's not one I would necessarily recommend to viewers of the channel, shall we say? Um, so yeah, anyway, hope hope that was hope that was helpful. If you've read Sarah Pimbera, um, do let me know. I'm I'm keen to explore her back catalogue more. I do have another book by her, which I think is called Thirteen Minutes, um, which I've got on my Kindle, which I haven't read yet. Um, but yeah, I think you know when she's good, I think she's really really good. It's just this one fell a bit flat for me. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you're safe and well. Hope you're reading good books. Um, and I will speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.